And tonight, local cities and towns are preparing to keep residents cool over the next few days, as there is a potential for dangerously hot temperatures for most of our area. Our in-depth coverage continues with Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen, who joins us live in our studio now with ways on how you can beat the heat. A lot of cities have cooling centers ready to go, and that includes Cranston. Local officials say it might be best to stay indoors for the next few days. The sun is beaming, and that means scorching hot days ahead. Carlos Lopez with the city of Cranston says to be careful as this heat continues. Be safe. If uh, you don't have to go out in the middle of the day to do something, try to avoid it. He says the city will keep the public libraries and the senior center open as designated cooling centers. But not everyone is listening to his stay indoors advice. Residents were running up the court playing basketball, but most agree they'd like it to be cooler. It's, it's hot enough. It's hot. Lewis Leon says he'll stay outside no matter how hot it gets. Of course. Of course. Can't lose this love for basketball. Others were making plans for the next day. Oh uh, yeah, I'll probably head over the beach. But Cranston officials urge them to drink plenty of water if they stay outside. Lopez says the residents most in need of the cooling centers will be senior citizens. And, uh, certainly we want to be cognizant of our senior neighbors, uh, especially if you live next to a senior or near seniors. Just keep an eye out for them. You know. He wants to remind everyone that the Budlong Pool in Cranston will be open and he's expecting it to be packed these next few days. But again, he says to try to stay indoors if you can. They try to do your errands either early in the morning or later in the afternoon when there's, you know, a little bit of shade and hopefully things cool down. Lopez says the library's hours vary depending on which location, but the Senior Center will be open tomorrow from 830 to 430. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.